hello in this video we will import the other two forty gates to the uh, we will import policy packages from the other from forty gate three and forty gate four to this forty manager we will discuss importing uh, conflicts and importing so to start with forty gate three import configuration if we are enabling ap and switch central management on the adom we get this option otherwise not get it so here it gives us the option to create the policy package name by default it will uh, rename it as the 40 gate but if it already exists it will give us notification that this policy package name exists either give it a new name or another option will appear here to override the existing one so this is the folder where the policy package will be saved and we can import all the policies from the 40 gate or we can select like specific uh, policies we have two policies that gate. we can choose to import one of them or two and also in object selection we have two options very important here like it will import only policy dependent objects like all the objects that has reference and used in policies will be imported otherwise it will not be imported like if we have an address with no reference not used it will not be imported to the 40 map. or selecting import all objects will import everything then the normalized interface uh, the devices will will appear and 40 manager will create the normalized interface automatically in this case in the 40 gate 3 there are no uh, special no interfaces created like VLANs and special interfaces. So it's just taking the defaults or default ports. So nothing to be uh, populated. Then the conflict page appears. There is no conflicts. Everything in the 40 gate is either matching the 40 manager or does not and 40 manager so it will import a new address which is headquarters printer and this server the replicates means that they are in same in 40 manager and 40 gate so they will not be imported click next and we can download the import report which will show us what has been imported or if there is a failure we'll see why it and finish and as we see here now we'll import 40 gate 4. 40 gate 4 we have both addresses hq printer and the cost of service same same name but with different so let's see here it created the normalized interface port one for physical interface so as you see custom service one it found a conflict where when i imported it from the first 40 gate 40 gate 3 it was created in 40 manager also it's in 40 gate 4 so importing it is getting it's being conflict you can see so the TCP range in 40 gate 3 in uh, in 40 gate 4 in the current 40 gate we are importing from is 6581 in 40 manager is 6589 it was created when we imported 40 gate 3 so it's showing as a conflict when we have a conflict it will give you the option to choose either 40 gate or 40 So what do what do we need to do to resolve this conflict? So if we choose 40 gate, then it will uh, bring it from 40 gate. It will import it from 40 gate with this value, and update the existing one in 40 manager to this value. So here, okay.
this custom service is 6589 the one in 40 gate 4 is Six five one. So in forty manager, this custom service is is used as a policy package for forty gate. So if we choose forty gate version, uh, forty gate value, then it will update update this. It will change this one to five six eight one as in forty gate four. But since this one is used in forty gate three then it will update the value for 40 gate 3 so next time you install the policy package to 40 gate 3 it will update the service it will change its value to 6581 as reported if we are fine with that then it's fine if we need them both to be separate that's not possible uh, we can't have the same object name with two different values in other objects that's possible but in services that's not so what we need to do either rename it on the 40 gate itself instead of custom service one we can give it a different name i could make it two then restart the import procedure So now it's checking conflicts it passed that it and we notice here we have dynamic mapping for hu printer what does that so in 40 gate 3 the address is hq printer is this value 192.168.1.5 in 40 gate 4 we have the same address but it's 172.16.10.5 in addresses it, 40 manager when imports the, the, the policy package will not create conflicts for that he automatically 40 manager automatically creates per device mapping or dynamic mapping as we have seen it will import a new object to serve the service and all others are duplicated We go to policy and objects, firewall objects, addresses, and we'll search for HQ firewall print type. So as we see, like from 40 gate 3, it was 1.5. When we uh, the 40 manager created a dynamic mapping, which is per device mapping for 40 gate 4, same address name, but this is its value so that means when we use hq printer uh, address in any of the policy package to any 40 gate it will use this value except for 40 gate 4 it will use this value we can modify it let's say we want to use it in 40 gate 3 or 40 gate 1 and it will be 192 8 21.5 In that case, when we use this address in a policy, and that policy will be pushed to 40 gate 1, it will be 21 instead. And it changed mode. All are synchronous. 